Holoxica's holograms can present games, entertainment and adverts, and can be used in architecture and engineering design. But the company is also engaged with scientists and medics to help them in their fields. And the end result may aid the design of drugs or highlight growths or tumors in organs so that surgeons can plan operations more effectively. Holoxica's founder and managing director is Javid Khan. It's a very naturalistic uh, viewing experience, so it doesn't use any optical tricks. So you, you don't um, have headaches or you don't f feel nauseous when you look at it. Uh, it's in full colour and the, the image appears to be quite magical. It pops out into mid-air and it, it just hangs there and people are fascinated by it. But apart from that, I mean, it has real practical scientific uh, use. Um, so, for example, um, surgeons or molecular biologists, they, can, uh, they work with 3D data all the time, but they've not, they don't really have a lot of chance to view um, the, the scans or the molecules or whatever it is that they're working with in, in true 3D. So it enables them to design things or to plan operations, for example, more effectively. So collaboration is very much on Javid Khan's mind. But the company, whose client list reads like a science and technology who's who and includes the Royal Observatory in Edinburgh, Germany's Fraunhofer Society and Manchester University, is now working on bringing its 3D colour holograms to life using high-tech animation techniques. That's quite correct. So it's possible for us to do a limited amount of animation um, as the viewer moves across the hologram from left to right or right to left. Um, let's say we can encode a couple of uh, seconds worth of, of, of animation. And indeed, uh, that does add, add quite a lot of a substantial amount of value to, 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 to these holographic uh, prototypes and products that we make. Um, in terms of scientific value, animations can be useful to explore alternative scenarios. So if you've got a number of different combinations of, of how things might interlock in, say, a nanomachine, you can depict several of them or see how things can come together or, or, or go apart. We, we can do that in a, in, in a hologram, and it's not something that you can do in any other technology very easily. The company's success with its existing holograms is exciting enough, but Javid says there's much more he wants Holoxica to do. Uh, at the moment, uh, the, the, the field of view of the holograms is mostly horizontal. They don't have a lot of up and down viewability. Um, so, for example, you can't lay it flat and walk all the way around. So we'll be working on that so to, to, to increase vertical field of view. Further afield, we're looking at ways to copy the holograms and perhaps enter consumer markets. At the moment, we're focused on professional 3D. Um, so, as I said, scientists and engineers and 3D artists and people like that. Um, once we have the capabilities of copying them, then we can bring the unit price down quite significantly. And then uh, we also have uh, quite an extensive R&D program where we're making a, a dynamic display. Uh, so one with changing holographic images. But that's still uh, very much at the um, forefront of uh, current research. <laughs>